What is up, people from the interwebs? My name is Molvo19, bringing you a Pokemon Air to Wi Fi battle that Retro Mushroom wanted someone to narrate. And I was like, sure, let's do it. Okay, so this could be an Ubers battle, although everyone brought OU, but it could still be an Ubers battle. Who knows? Who knows? But I believe it is an OU battle. He predicts the Volt Switch very nicely, and then he's going to go for his own U turn. But you know what? Rotom Wash does not play games, and he's going to go back with him with a hard Hydro Pump. And that does a lot to the freaking Politoed. So Politoed is not too happy right now. Um, especially after this Volt Switch when it's going to almost die. And yeah, Tyler's going to switch out. He's going to go into that onion as he misses the Hydro Pump, which was basically useless because come on, how much Hydro Pump is actually going to do to Selby, like really? So Thunder Wave, that sounds like a good plan right here. Let's Thunder Wave whatever wants to come in, although it could be Landorus. Well, let's just go for it anyways. My my logic, I guess. So he U-turns, um, he switches out. That's no big problem for the big strength of Gloyscor. This man, this man-eating monster, man eating dog, eat dog man, is going to destroy him the entire day as his rota misses the hydro pump again, and we all get to laugh in his face. So, this mind shell comes in. Who uses mind shell in OU anymore? That's right, the mushroom of retros does, as he is able to pull off the U-turn and go back into Selby and just piss off his opponent even more. So, um, he switches out obviously because. Because Selby is just too much of a threat to Rotom. He's going to have to switch out. And they both switch out. They both switch out. He goes into his Polytoad. He goes into his Rotom. It's a whole big water dance party here. And he just goes for the Hydro Pump. He didn't care about Miss. He doesn't miss nothing. And he is able to go for the Hydro Pump and knock him out. So here comes his Landorus. Who brings in this thing anyways? What are you really going to do to a bulky Rotom? I mean, come on now. Um, he's going to go into his Toxic Croak. And he misses the burn, unfortunately. That would have helped a little bit. Although, I don't know if burn works against Toxic Croak. I guess it doesn't because of Dry Skin and all that. But you know what? Volt Switch. Because Volt Switch is awesome. He switches out, switches out with the Volt, and goes into the Sandman. The Sandman does not play any games here, and the Sandman can take whatever hit he wants to go for. Um, Sandman now switches out because he might be a little bit afraid of that Drain Punch, and that opponent goes for that Drain Punch, and he's going to go into his glass, going to easily take that like a champ. So, yeah, I'm talking a little country here, I don't know why, but I'm just going to be doing it anyway. So, he has to switch out, obviously, because there's nothing he can do to him. Predicting it nicely, he goes for the U-turn as I eat popcorn. Yum, yum, yum. And he goes back into the Sandman. Now, the Sandman plans to destroy this Uxie in every single bit of form. Although, I guess the Sandman expected him to switch out. That didn't work out too well. So now, the Sand guy is going to switch out, or rather, his opponent is going to switch out. He gets a crit with his U-turn, but he can still go for that Pursuit, and he knocks him out, which is pretty epic. So, yeah. No more worrying about that Uxie dude anymore. Now, to preserve the 6-0, he's going to switch out, go into his Glide Score as his opponent goes goes for the sub, which really, I don't even know why you go for the sub, boy, because there's nothing you can absolutely do, diddly down, do, 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 diddly, doodly, daddly, doodly, do. So why do you even do that? What is a Toxicrug going to do against a dice score, especially when you have Poison Jab? <laughs> poison Jab, okay, 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 okay. Hello? Glyscore is in your way. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Okay, so he thought of his best thought here to go. Just go back and road him because obviously he just wants to go for the Hydro Pump again. And that's obviously what's going to happen. And now you know what? The Wash Man can go for whatever he wants to because he can wash anything out at all. So he decides to go for that full switch. Now we got to whisper a little bit here because apparently I was being a little bit too loud to my my fellow relatives and uh, enemies in the household. So here goes the glass score. Uh, the glass score is easily going to be able to take out the tox croak, and we don't have to really worry about tox croak anymore. So in comes the the Rotom, and the Rotom could easily um, fear off 
that guy score. So he has to go back into the very predictable Celebi again. And now, guess what he can do? He switches out again, because obviously Rotom is some sort of importance to him. And he predicts that scissor like a boss, he goes for that HP fire, and easily knocks him out like a 1-2-3 punch out. Yeah, what am I talking about? Mm-hmm. So he brings in the Rand Rosu, because obviously the whole situation right now is fine. And so he predicted the U-turn very nicely. He still thinks this thing is choice. We don't know at all. He could be extra belted. Hell, he could even be a fighting gym for whatever reason he wanted to be. So he goes into his uh his his uh his washer machine, his LG, um, his his Dell. And he's just going to go for them rocks because he missed the Hydro Pump or something like that. Which, you know what? You suck at this game if you miss the Hydro Pump. So, all he has left is that big old Landorus threat. And all he can do is he goes back into the Rotom. I guess he expected him to go for the HP Ice or something like that. I don't know. But, you know what? Now he sees the Stone Edge. That means he can easily go back into his Keldeo. And finish this good old battle up right here. So, um, he's gonna go for that U-turn, and now we don't even have to worry about him anymore. Because you know what? Surf is going to kill that son of a bitch. And now, the game is over. And the war has been won. Wahaha. This was really weird, but I decided to do it anyways. Make sure to check out my channel if you didn't enjoy. Also, if you did enjoy, make sure to unsubscribe, because you'll probably see worse crap like this sooner or later. Out, peace.